Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is my redstone testing world. We're going to be doing today's video from here, and today's video is... Well, welcome to Random Minecraft Thursdays. And this... If you've ever played Dungeons & Dragons, you know that you have to roll your stats. Um, at least that's one of the ways of playing. And when you roll your stats, there one of the most common ways is you roll four six-sided dice, you drop the lowest number, and you add up the total. So if you roll a two, a four, a three, and a five, you don't count the two, and you add four, three, and five, which would be 12, if my math is correct. I hope it is on camera. So that's what this machine does. So I'm going to kick it into action. There is going to be lag. So... Ah, uh, I love slideshows. So, is it already done? No, this one's still fine. I wish one of these were firing. Those are horrible. So we're at four. And whatever this is, we'll add that to four. And it will be what our final stat would be for um, this roll. So this can go on technically forever because it is a randomizer, but... The odds of it going on forever are nearly impossible, infinitely small, but so we have four and whenever this ends, we'll be able to add that to it. So it might be a little while. No? Okay, next. Okay, it's a six. That's what this comes out to. So the now that that is all done, it is beginning to do its math in the back. It's figuring out what it needs. It's sending it over to this side, and it should start to count down to six, which if you play Dungeons & Dragons, you know is a horrible stat. Here we go. So it starts at 18, and it'll go all the way down. So it will be a little bit, but I thought I'd explain while we have an opportunity. Um, what we're going to be doing with these every Thursday, at least as many as I can, gonna try and make a random minecraft video whether it's a tutorial um with my, with redstone or banners or a building or maybe i'm just showcase something i'm doing but here comes six and it should stop and ta-da there's your stat now you know and is it quicker to roll dice yes it is much quicker it also will reset itself and three blank because you can't roll two or one and 18 and it'll stay there. Really fancy. Really fancy. Really complicatedly fancy. So, I'm not going to teach you guys how to build this. It's not practical to build in a survival world. Or a creative world. But, uh, the, there's a lot of things in here that I can teach you guys from it. Like, piston feed tapes are a great tool. And this is an extended version. Normally you just have them um, up to 10. This is, it goes up to 18. Um, and there's a unique circuit for that because all we need over here is a one. We don't need anything fancy, so we're able to do something more simple. We have multiple hopper clocks timing each other, make it so everything works correctly. Um, we have more piston feed tapes over here that are only six numbers instead of 18 or the standard 10. We have comparing contraptions so right here for instance let's say this is a which is a two and this is oh that's the same let's go over here a and b b is putting out a stronger signal right now because i have it so the lowest number puts out a high strong signal so up there and then this one's putting out a slightly weaker signal so when those two come up and get compared to each other a is stronger so it's a one or a z instead of a zero. So when that happens, no signal goes over here to turn off this torch and lock this up so the signal can't travel from here. It's all extremely overly complicated, but it was the only way to do it. And then this measures, okay, it's four bits. It has to count down by four, because if it was a perfect roll, it would be 18. So that would be a six, five, four, three, two. It sends out four to tell it to go down by four. All those get added together by using a simple hopper. I decided to use droppers because it's quicker than hopper chain. And it shoots all the way over, gets measured with this contraption. This contraption slows it down so this can measure it. 
So it can fire and walk up this. And all this happens on the span of, well, when I hit this button until this ends. It is not practical in the slightest, but I love it. So I'm glad that that ended on a five. That one ended up not firing this time. And neither did this one. I'll prove to you that I'm not a fool. <laughs> this line goes out from here and goes into all of these right here, which fire one of these and one of which is a block of iron, which is not strong enough to reach this to be able to set off the machine. So all of them should have fire by now. Yep. And it counted down to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine works every time and i am happy so hope you guys enjoyed this just something a little cool to show you what's possible in redstone and i'll show you guys more in depth a little bit of how to build some of these parts of this so you can implement it into things you need sound good i'll catch you guys back here with the next one goodbye